Hello, I'm Peter Vaughan and today I'm at the Swift factory and this, I think, is possibly the most exciting new product to come out of Swift in years. It's the new Trekker camper van. In fact, there will be two Trekker camper vans. This, the Trekker S and a longer Trekker X. They're keenly priced £70,995 for this one and this slightly longer X model is 71995 They both come with a pop top and all the spec that you see on this one. Well, you certainly won't be mistaking a Trekker for any other camper van when you see one on a campsite. They all come in this non-metallic grey with the black alloy wheels matching Thule awning and these very distinctive mouldings down the side. Even the Trekker branding and these sort of almost military graphics are quite a change from, well, anything we've seen before from Swift. Despite that look, this isn't a four-wheel drive camper van, it's still front-wheel drive, the front-wheel drive Ford Transit, and you get the 170 horsepower engine and six-speed manual gearbox as standard. If you want an automatic, that is pretty much the only factory option at £1,795. It looks just as cool on this side. Now, you've got your external shower point, nice framed habitation windows, your mains hookup goes in there, toilet servicing there, and back here, the essential for summer's days, your barbecue point. It's no good having a van that looks so ready for adventures if you haven't got the storage to go with it. And that's where this layout really scores because you've got plenty of room here for whatever sports gear you're into. And although there is a carpet, I suspect most people will probably leave that at home because you've got your lashing points on the floor. And then you've got lots of extra storage in drawers and cupboards here at the back and also your gas compartment. So on this side, as well as your gas locker, you have various drawers. Large one on the top there, and then a bank of three smaller soft closing drawers down there. On this side, at the top, you've got storage for your ladder. That's, of course, for the pot top bed, and you can store the winding handle for the Thule awning. That's a uh, standard feature, remember, of, as well. And then you've got cupboard space, and in here you've got your whale water heater. So you've got plenty of storage back here, but it's also your bedroom. And I really like these, because they magnetically attach both for storage and when they support the bed. They're clearly marked too, as to which way up they go. And then, it's a matter of, well, I'm just going to have to unclip that one for a second, because just unclip those. This one back here. Bed folds down. You've got these smaller cushions just fill in the space at the ends. You'll notice it's all on nice Klimaplux plastic springs for extra comfort. Your table can be stored back here as well. We'll see that again a bit later on when we look at the lounge. Again, just unfold this extra cushion at the end. And it's a nice squishy mattress. And although it's not that high a bed, you do have a little ladder just attaches on the end. So the bed is 96 centimetres off the floor. And then when you're actually up here, it's 1.84 metres wall to wall and a maximum of 1.18 metres wide. The key thing is that this is a comfy bed. And unlike so many of its ilk, you've only got a cupboard at one end of the bed. So you can comfortably sit up with your morning brew. You've got light switches here, nice backlit 
that uh, area to the headboard. You've got USB sockets and down under the top locker over there, you've also got 230 volt and 12 volt sockets. You've even got speakers in the ceiling and this nice strip light, which is quite a sort of aesthetic feature of the van, that's dimmable too. Obviously, you can't have a vent in the roof because of the pop top. You can't open the back windows because they're the original Ford glazing. So there's a single opening window at the foot of the bed. So you've got one bed at the back and of course a second bed in the pop top. Now before we put the roof up, it's worth mentioning both that this is a top quality SCA roof from Germany and even with the roof down, you've got this roof light above the front lounge, so plenty of daylight in here, despite the fact you haven't got an over cab sunroof directly above the windscreen. That does give plenty of daylight into this space. Now being an SCA roof, you've got belt and braces catches on both sides before you lift the roof. It's great to have proper storage for the ladder, which we saw in the rear garage stroke bedroom area. And the ladder just unfolds, clips into place, and then up you go. And then up here, it's a really good size bed, two meters long by 1.26 meters wide. And again, although it's a thinner mattress, it is on plastic springs. And then if you're lucky enough to be parked in the med, you can unzip the whole of the front for maximum fresh air. This might be the classic continental style half dinette lounge with the two swivel cab seats, but even here, there's some nice detailing. For a start, the rear passenger seat has Isofix. And to please the kids traveling in the back, you've got USB sockets right here with a little recess for them to put their phone, well, if they ever put it down. More storage in these little pockets here. Of course, you can't open this window when you're traveling, but when you're parked up, you have got a plush pleated blind. And there are blinds right the way around the cab too. Pin lights above, and those go right into the cab. No great surprises in the kitchen. So you've got your two burner hob and in a combination unit with your stainless steel sink. Couple of drawers, which is always good to see. The unit at the bottom, that is a cupboard rather than another drawer. Decent area of worktop, and then that expands the little swing out section at the end there. And underneath that, you've got your compressor fridge. I think that's about a 50 litre model, but uh, waiting for confirmation of exact spec, because this is very much the prototype. You've got two main sockets at the end of the unit, convenient with the worktop. And this is an unusual feature that I really like because not only does it look nice, but it prevents splashes going on your pillows. Behind a timbre door, you've got very much a generic Swift washroom. And this could be from one of their coach built models, just a little bit smaller. So you've got this tip up basin, that works well and it gives you more room for showering. And the really good news is you don't need a shower curtain. This washroom just seals itself with the door and well, you won't have one of those horrible clingy curtains sticking to you. Bit of storage, mirror, towel hook on the wall and of course your shower head. And even the toilet isn't too high. And then twin drains in the floor so everything should flow away nicely. This Trekker could so easily have been just another fixed bed camper van, but there's some lovely details. Look at this zipped pocket above the dinette. 
I think that's ever so neat. And the dimmable strip light right through the ceiling really adds a touch of style. And then there's this main socket on the back of the kitchen unit, ideal for when you're sitting outside. So all in all, this tracker isn't just a pretty face. Thank <laughs> you.